Welcome to Hana Talks Live TV. I'm Hana Gilman, your Relationship Mastery Mentor. I don't know why I'm here today. <laughs> but that laugh already feels better. Um, I'm sitting in front of my building. I, I realized I have nothing to say, or that's what I felt. And I came out here as an example for you. Well, an example of what, you may ask. Vulnerability. Beautiful women. You know, when I come out here, people watch these videos, and I'm very grateful. Um, people watch these videos because I guess they like what I'm saying, and usually I do tend to have a message. You know that I'm not scripted. I never have notes. Um, but today is a day that I didn't feel like I had anything to tell you. So why is it vulnerable to be out here with you? Because to come on to a live video and really tell you that I have nothing to say, maybe I'll ramble, maybe I'll make, make sense, maybe I won't. Um, but it's vulnerable. And beautiful women, that's where most of us, hi Sheila and I think David, that is where most of us are lacking. We're so afraid to be and feel vulnerable. You know, I'm sitting in front of my building, there's a bench, so I'm just sitting here. And there's a parking lot right here. And somebody said, what are you doing? I said, I do live TV every day. <laughs> Um, why am I vulnerable? Look, I had an amazing last six months. Four were in incredibly wonderful. A month and a half, two months of really growth from that wonderfulness. Um, and I was sitting in my apartment this morning feeling a deep longing, feeling sad, feeling regretful. And I understood that all those feelings are real and I'm entitled to them and there's nothing wrong with feeling them, but there was a problem with them. And that problem, hi Rivka, that problem was the energy behind those feelings. I always talk to you about energy. Our highest vibration of what we put out into the world is what is matched for us and I was really feeling those feelings and having a pity party around them and that's not what I want the truth is that most of the time while I'm thinking and longing for what it is that I would like my vibration is very sure and when we're in a pity party here's the problem oh the police just pulled up <laughs> here's the problem we don't dream Pity parties stop the dreaming. Dreaming is absolutely magical. And dreams can come true. Yes, miracles happen. In fact, I had a miracle yesterday that was unbelievable, but I'm going to spare you because it doesn't quite fit here. Um, I feel pretty vulnerable right now because I'm not sure I'm having a direct message but I see a like. <laughs> Ladies, what is it that you would like to say to someone, do to someone, you'd like to be, you'd like to show up differently and you don't let yourself because it's scary. My son said to me yesterday, Mommy, we can't have big dreams living a small life. That's from a 25 year old kid, my son. <laughs> and it's true. If you want to play small and continue living in a fetal position from an experience five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you're not going to get far. Nothing's going to change for you. Do I have this longing for someone? Yes, I do. Do I feel like I blew it on many levels? Yes. Here's another police car and they're all watching me shoot a video. Um, what can I tell you? 
things go bad. But if you use it to grow, to learn a lesson, to allow your expansion, you see, a pity party is not allowing expansion. It's not owning growth. It's not saying, well, that happened and I didn't like it. I have grown from it. I am different. And the next launching pad, you will not be who you were when you launched that. My bar is much higher. Oh my gosh. And I've got a pit in my stomach right now because I'm feeling extremely vulnerable with all of you. Because, like, I'm not hearing a point to this, except to tell you if there's something you think about and you want to do and you want to do it, go do it. I'm not out here with my usual, um, what I would say, higher energy, but I knew I had to come out to show you that I followed an intuition. I followed a gut in myself that said many of you may need this message. Do it anyway. We live with our five senses and that keeps us small and grounded because we are so afraid. Tiffany, hi! We are so afraid to let ourselves fly. And when you live with your five senses, you think that one and one equals two and two and two equals four and eight and B equals C. And when you can live with an intuition, and um, learn to follow it. Love you too, Tiffany. Please say hi to Ken. And you learn to follow that intuition. One and one can equal magnificent love. Um, a and B can equal a fabulous vacation. It is absolutely nothing that's logical when you go by intuition. And that's very scary and most of us, it's our inner GPS, our emotional guidance system. I always tell you to live with your higher energy because that's what will be matched. You think you want to get married, but you know there's no good guys at this age. So what are you owning? What's your higher vibration subconsciously? There's no good guys at this age. What if he really knew who I am? Most guys are trolls, they ghost you, they disappear on when you meet them online. But I really want to get married. Do you? Do you believe that you do? It doesn't sound like it to me. <laughs> anyway, that's really all I've got for you today. I'm feeling very vulnerable. I'm glad I came out. It doesn't always have to be um, perfect before you go. When you live on a uh, higher level and follow intuition, sometimes you take the step and then the bridge appears. If you're waiting for the bridge, if you're waiting for perfection, if you're waiting to lose the 20 pounds, if you're waiting um, for anything, it could be a long wait. That's all I've got. I don't even know if I had anything, but that's it. Serena, hi. Um, I love you. You're beautiful women. I want you to own it. Feel free to join my live Facebook, uh, my live, my private Facebook group, um, Relationship Mastery with Confidence and Dignity. There's good stuff in there. I love my one. We had a great live stream on Sunday night. We do Sunday Fun Day with Hana. Uh, at 7 o'clock, hi Devora. at 7 o'clock Pacific, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern every Sunday. <clears throat> and you're all welcome. Relationship mastery with confidence and dignity. Um, do I want to say anything else to you? I feel better that I came out. I feel um, like I'm not hiding and I'm not... Hi, Faggy. Don't hide. It never pays off. Uh, Zarina, look for, go to your search box on Facebook, type in Relationship Mastery with Confidence and Dignity, and ask to join, and I can approve you that way. Happy to have you. Um, 
Stop hiding. It doesn't serve you. It doesn't serve anyone else. Live in your higher vibration because that's what's going to be matched anyway. We tend to live in, <clears throat> excuse me, in gravity and five senses, like I said before. And that's playing and living small. Your imagination is your gateway to your intuition. Use them. Get in touch with them. I can help you. Private message me if you have questions. Write your questions here and I'll answer. Um, that's it. I've got to go. I'd rather not ramble, but I do feel better for coming out and sharing with where I was holding. I love you and I will see you soon. This is Hannah Gilman, your Relationship Mastery Mentor. Bye, everybody.